Welcome to the woods. Are you guys ready? Because today we are going to be raiding hummus. I didn't say hummus, I said hummus. So don't come at me with anything, okay? Today, we have some lovely pita thins by Stacy's mom. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, Zach. Delicious. Are you ready? Yes. I've waited this for my entire life. Oh, just for this nice. day, just Are for delicious. this moment. Here's our first one. Ah. What is it? Ooh, Sabra, family size. See, is it Sabra or Sabra? Because I always say Sabra. <laughs> I would say Sabra. I say Sabra. Why do we say Sabra? Because it's all it's all short vowels, which makes sense, but like. Mm. Okay. English. So this is a classic brand. You can find it pretty much at Walmart. I think it's even at Trader Joe's, to be honest. Is it? It's not. No. I lied. It's at Costco. It's at Costco. You get the economy size, the Costco. It's thick. It's creamy. It's so satisfying to take a little chunk out of. Mm. This is delicious. This is excellent. It has so many layers of flavor. You got the chickpeas, you got that tahini, and you got that <laughs> oil, and then you got those spices. Those hummus spices. You just. So once by you start, spices, you mean garlic and salt? Yes, garlic and salt, God's gift to mankind. Amen. Okay, so I like that there's only 130 milligrams of sodium in here per two tablespoons. Like, cause that's not Well, a let's lot. be honest with ourselves. We're not gonna eat two tablespoons. We're gonna eat like two cups of this stuff. Emma. Cause once you start on hummus, you just can't stop. You cannot. And it's kosher. Hummus is so important. In fact, that wars are fought over hummus. Uh. In Israel, scuffles can occur when it comes to which humicia, hummusia, makes the best hummus. Mm. Oh, wow. So we'll see if you two come to fist fight today or not, or if you can agree, what's the best hummus? Okay, mm. well, oh, that's that's a tough thing to love. Trader Joe's, Joe's hummus dip. Let's just get in there. Oop, there we um, go. See, they have a nice colorful label. Yep, they very has festive. Nice intricate. Oh, their ingredients are a lot longer. And you know what, I noticed this did not say anything about lemon juice. But this one this has, has lemon juice. Yeah, this doesn't have any lemon in it. I was very surprised when I read the ingredients because I thought I was getting a citrus flavor, but I wasn't. No, no lemon. This has lemon. And it's also kosher. Immediately off the bat, how do you unkosher tahini? Like with bacon grease? How do you unkosher tahini? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Our producer is throwing hummus on the floor. Right. Okay, so first off, this is not as satisfying to look at as no, it's not. Sabra. It's very... It's really thick. I feel like you yeah. could put this on as a face mask. We should do hummus face masks. Mm. No. But never say never. Okay, this is really thick. This... Okay, first off the bat, you taste cumin. Lots of cumin. Lots. Is cumin even in here? Like I'm Is it cumin or cumin? I have so many questions today. <laughs> cumin? What do you say? Cumin. Cumin, yeah. Why do I say cumin? But I don't see cumin in here. Cumin. Garbanzo beans, water, tahini, oil blend, canola and or safflower, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, citric acid, cultured dextrose salt, Concentrated lemon juice spices. Yeah. There, spices. It's in the spices. Cumin. But it's like just a mouthful of cumin. What? All you taste is cumin and lemon. Wow. It's quite. For those extra kosher people, this is also manufactured on shared equipment with peanuts, eggs, milk, wheat, tree noit, tree noits, <laughs> tree nuts, soy, and shellfish just so you know. So how does it stack up against Sabra Sabra? It is nowhere close mm. because all you taste is like, as soon as it hits your mouth, cumin, cumin. and then like lemon, and then like, it's Dover. It's Dover. <laughs> this has layers of flavor. It does. Layers of 
goodness. Incoming with our third hummus for today. Third hummus for today. See, I don't even know what this is. This is called Fresh Nature. It is a green chickpea hummus, and it's classic. So, I didn't even know green chickpeas existed until I saw this. I didn't either. Okay. Is that just an unripe chickpea? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, so many used... questions. People can go to Wikipedia. Okay, first off, this green. looks rough. Ooh. That looks uh, like baby food, and that's me being delicate. That's, please, I'm weak. <laughs> this is really thick. <laughs> this is like, it's very textured. It's it very smells green. like mayonnaise. Bugs. Even the bugs want it though, so maybe that's a good time. Mike, this is ugh. Okay, it says it's healthy. <laughs> it's it organic. It's healthy. The ingredients are on the very bottom. I'm not gonna worry about it falling out because it's so thick. Um, it also has lemon. Juice, salt. It's green chickpeas, water, tahini, blended oils, garlic, lemon juice, salt. Whoever There's no cumin in this one. Yeah, but the green chickpeas. Makes uh -oh. it have like a very micro green flavor. Yeah, it Dirt. tastes green. Yeah. It's... It tastes green. But yeah, it's worse than Trader Joe's. I it's definitely worse agree. Than Next round, we have another organically grown hummus. Ooh. See, you would all be proud of us. We're so organic today. Yes. So this is just... Organic simple truth. Simple, simple truth or organic. Simple truth organic, Master Yoda. There we organic, go. Organic simple truth Yoda. <laughs> okay, so let's eat this. Let's eat it. This non GMO. Oh, I forgot to say if this one was kosher or not. Because it doesn't specify, and I see no reason why it wouldn't be, but. That'd be a question to ask prior. Um, <laughs> we're kosher ish. Okay. Right. Oh, this is a perfect pita chip. This chips. one also yeah, says nothing about being kosher or not. It's non-GMO. Can you be GMO organic? Oh, let's get a nice... This is very creamy looking. Mm -hmm. um, oh. So it's very similar to the smoothness of Sabra. Yes, this one... This one's very tahini forward. And really, that's the only flavor I'm getting. It's tahini. Straight up tahini. Yeah. I will agree with you because, yeah. Like, I just have to go back and remind myself which one is. This just has a very sesame flavor because of the tahini. And the ingredients are just as simple as these two. Chickpeas, tahini, canola oil, lemon juice, salt, garlic citric acid so you know very boring but the saber still wins but this is this one, better than these two yeah. definitely better than this one what about this one i just don't like how much cumin is in that that's one. a lot of cumin yeah so we're gonna go put this one in a second place boar's head hummus Ooh. so See. let's make sure this is kosher <laughs> with a name like boar's head all right it is kosher it has a little circle with a letter in it right here it is non-gmo uh-huh it is traditional it is it, gold labeled it and it is has a gold label on it so obviously it has to be the best it just seems fancy yes so i have a question how what? do you feel about warm hummus I've never had warm hummus. Warm hummus. Wow. So this is very smooth, very smooth in texture. And it's so smooth that it's falling to one side in the container. You can just wiggle that all over to one side. This? This is good. This is really good. Like, there is no one flavor attacking you. This is a lovely, lovely blend. Like they just, they found the balance. I think I know what it is. What? Okay, so all of these pretty much use canola oil. This one uses sunflower. 
Is that it? Sunflower oil. And the very, very last ingredient is cumin. Wow, okay. This is Oh, like, it also has olive oil in it. This is like the smoothest flavored. It has no bite. It's just, it's perfection. This is really nice because traditionally if you're making hummus, you have to make it with a good quality olive oil or else it's just not good. Yeah. This is made with olive oil and sesame oil and the rest are just canola oil and soy bean. Yeah. This, my friends, is the clear winner. Like, boar's wow. head is the best because I could just, I could keep eating this. This is really good. Mm. I'm just staring at the ingredients because I am in shock. Wow, it's so smooth. This is the best hummus. The very best. I'm... I, thank you for the applause. Thank you, thank you. So you know what, now you know how to buy your hummus. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about pricing at all, but I did buy these, I just didn't really pay attention. But I'm pretty sure that the pricing isn't far off. Even though the sizes of the containers differ, I don't really think the price changes like at all. It's like four fifty to five bucks a container. You may get less for your money, but you get more in flavor. Amen. It is. And this is clearly the winner. This is awful. This is terrible. I don't do green chickpeas because that just gives the whole thing a different, just way different flavor. If it you want to eat liquid healthy. broccoli, yeah. then there you go. Right. This is so good and I just love it because ingredients wise, if you pay attention to ingredients, these are quality ingredients. Yes. So you know, now you know how to buy your hummus when you're feeling that Middle Eastern call and you feel like you're on the sands of the Sahara. That's in Africa though. Um, mm. The dunes of Arabia. There we go. You now know what to get. Now, we didn't start any wars today because we pretty much agreed across we did. everything. But I'm sure we can start a war in your hearts for seeking out the truest, bestest hummus in your life. We, I agree with you, Zach. So feel free, guys. Go out, try some hummus. Don't get this one. And just, you know, get your family over. Have a just nice meal together with some hummus. Don't pick yeah. different ones because, again, you might start a war. And we don't want to do that, okay? Yes. We're not promoting war. We're going to end all Make war, love, war with hummus. Make hummus, not, not war. war. Bye. Bye. <laughs>